Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I just want to say I appreciate all of your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your donations, and everything that you share with me in the channel. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And if anything is upsetting or it doesn't feel like it goes in your story, please feel free to leave those messages for somebody else. Or you can always come back and watch a message later. So, these cards are jumping out. Okay. <laughs> um, bluff has come out here in the reverse. This says pretending, mask, exaggeration. Somebody... Something could be revealed about somebody who has been pretending. Yeah, something's being made clear whenever it comes to somebody who has been lying or keeping something hidden. It's like their intentions are showing or there's some um, truth in the matter that's being cleared up. This could mend something that has been broken or there's something that... There's some kind of confusion here where a situation has been messed up or someone's been lying in a situation and all of these things are going to be cleared up. It's like um, the energy of clarity is showing up and it's like it's bringing something back together or it's making something whole. Divine Feminine is here, so you could be dealing with a feminine energy or this could be you. This could be the energy that's making something clear. Um, you could be escaping whatever the situation is. That could be part of what's being made clear. There's something here about your freedom or being freed from a situation um, where there's been a lot of confusion. And this confusion could be around... Um, mistakes. It's like there's something where somebody has been misunderstood or there's someone here that has either tried to victimize you or they've been pretending to be the victim. This could be somebody who's very lost. This could be who you're getting away from. This could be somebody who's made you feel very hopeless. It's like all of this is being cleared. If you've been in a situation of feeling like you're in despair, you need to know that that's going to be cleared up. Because somebody is able to see something about someone's dishonesty. There's somebody here who has been, um, they could have been spying on you or they could have been doing something in a situation to create confusion by way of social media or something to do with the network of people or there's something here about information um like someone could be using different ways to either get information or to create some kind of um enough confusion that that people have been confused by somebody's mask or whatever they've been doing to pretend And confusion is out here again. So it's like you're getting away from this uncertainty. You could be getting a second chance at something. Um, making amends is also out here. This says return. So this could be somebody who tries to return to you. And I, there was something here about heart fog and confusion. This could be somebody who comes to you and tells you that they want a second chance or they would like to make amends. Um, this could have been somebody who was confused about your energy. Hang on, we're going to get some clarifiers also. Yeah, this person could still be attracted to you or feel a lot of passion towards you. Or that's... It's like that's what's being cleared up here. This has to do with either somebody pretending like they don't have passion or feelings for you 
or somebody recognizing that they do. But I'm seeing something about somebody wanting to come back. Yeah, this person could be longing for you. Divine Masculine has just fallen out here on top of Divine Feminine. Um, and Realizations. Oh, wow. This was underneath um, this card. So there could be a masculine energy that's returning to a feminine energy or vice versa. There's something here about um, this couple being divine or there's something to do with a... Um, Masculine and feminine, yeah, and this, so for those of you where this is not a divine counterpart, this is just somebody where um, there's something about the connection that is that has to do with your soul's path. It's like there's somebody realizing something here about the connection between you and them. This has to do with the way that they feel about you or the way that they, um, when they think about the bond between you and them. It's like somebody did something to ruin the bond between you and them. And it's like you are walking away from this. You are not at a place where you're confused about who this person is or what they're doing. It's like you see them for exactly who they are and you're getting away from them. And you could be going towards somebody who is a counterpart of yours. Um, or this could be somebody, it's like this could be two different people who are walking away from there are groups and then you could, it's like there could be some kind of a union here with somebody that you haven't met yet. For others of you though, what I'm seeing is somebody like coming to some kind of realization that they have messed something up with their deception and whatever they have been attached to. There's something about a third party here where it's like they feel like they've done all these things and now a truth is being realized. So let's see what the tarot has to say about this. There's something about someone's mask coming off. Like it's not... Whatever somebody has been pretending to do, it's going to be seen clearly. There could be um, photo evidence of something, or um, there could be a book of something. Somebody could be doing something on a computer um, where they're heavily looking you up or spying. Or there's something that somebody's looking at a, on a computer that's confusing. So show me um, both the nervous. So somebody has been lying about something. This could be someone who is lying and they're also, they could be being very hateful with their communication. And it's like, that's what they've invested in is hateful communication or fighting or doing something where they're being, um, deceptive and causing a lot of conflict show me clarity the seven of cups is out here in reverse it's like there's a lot of confusion and a lot of mixed signals and a lot of blocked emotions and a lot of what should i do or where do i go or what am i supposed to do next and This confusion could be around a home or someone's stability or lack thereof. This could have to do with um, a couple. This could have to do with a marriage. This could have to do with something around your foundation that has been confusing. Where someone has been trying to juggle something or juggle more than one person or juggle more than one situation. Or this could have to do with finances. Um... There's someone who is trying to, to create something. They're trying to create the energy of something. What is this? Show me broken in reverse. Mm. 
Nothing's jumping out. Oh, okay. So yeah, somebody could have broken your heart or they could have broken their own heart. It's like someone is doing something that's creating confusion, but it's like the confusion has to do with it being within themselves. Or about themselves or the way that they view you. They could want to apologize or offer you something, offer you an apology, offer you, ask you out on a date, ask you out for a cup of coffee, ask you to, or make some small gesture towards you. There could also be some information that's coming in that's good news. But mostly what I'm seeing is like there's a light breaking through this person's confusion. This could have to do with children or um, something to do with emotional communication. This could be emotional communication or good news that somebody's offering you and it's it's attached to destiny or healing or someone moving in the energy of their north node. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or have that sign somewhere in your chart. Show me the star. Whoever this is, they broke their own heart and they did something that now they want to make amends or they want to keep a cycle open because they are feeling a loss of you or energy or money. This could be somebody who challenged you in some way and didn't think that you were going to follow through with whatever your end of the deal was or whatever it was that the challenge it's like you accepted some challenge and then not only that but you won something or you bested them in some form and part of what's happening is your energy is moving on from them you're walking away from this and this person is realizing this that this was not a game to you yeah, you're in the energy of moving, like picking a different road. And the way that this person is seeing you is like the world is your oyster. You have whatever options, any options that you want to reach towards. It's like they know that you're going to be able to do that. And for some of you, this person feels like you're going to do that with the sole purpose of escaping from them or getting away from them. Or them doing something that puts you in the energy of having to avoid them was some kind of very big mistake because it's opened up a world of opportunities for you or it's opened up something that they did not anticipate. And so then now they're feeling left out in the cold. Show me escaping. Yeah, you're not fighting with this person anymore. You're not in a place where you're standing fighting or doing anything it's like you don't want to have to have strong boundaries you just want to get out of this space it's like you don't want to have interaction with whoever this is and i'm getting something about dropping your guard or dropping whatever it is that you've been trying to hold on to whatever you've been trying to hold space for it's like you no longer want whatever this is. So, and this could be anything. This could be, um, it doesn't even have to be anything that's material. I'm seeing for some of you, this has something to do with emotions or it has something to do with, um, it's like weighing whatever it is that's the most important to you and walking away only with that. Somebody did something that, um, they maybe thought it was going to put you in the place of desperation or the point of no return. And for some of you, it did. But it's like the point of no return for you didn't look like what they calculated if they made these moves or if um, they tried to get you to, like, because they were bluffing. And that's being seen here. So show me mistakes.
Yeah, because you're not a victim. You are coming out like the queen of wands. Whether you're masculine or feminine, um, your energy is showing up as charming and charismatic and moving forward and manifesting. And you're not going to be in the energy of victimhood or doing something where you're having to fight with somebody constantly. It's like you're doing something here where if this person is choosing to be lost and put you in a space where you're constantly having to defend yourself, then you know who you are or you're ready to be found by somebody else or some other energy or some other situation. You're not going to stay here. You're not in a place of being hopeless by whatever this deception is. Whatever this web of lies is, you weren't stuck in it. And it's like that's maybe what they miscalculated with all of this arguing and fighting. They expected you to drop your guard. They expected you to be weak or vulnerable or do something that was like that would make you give up, but you kept fighting or you kept going or you kept um, you kept doing whatever it is that you needed to do. And for some of you, whatever it is that you had to fight for caused you a lot of pain. It's like this person, it's like they have respect for you or something or they're seeing you in a different way. They're not wanting to um, continue to do this be because you didn't end up hopeless, because you didn't end up Mm. There could be two feminine energies here fighting about someone. There's someone that's extremely hateful who's... It's like they're driving a wedge or they're driving a sword into somebody's heart. Why is this... Whoever this person is, you are very guarded from them or whenever it comes to them or they feel like they're never going to get to a place of being able to bond with you or confide in you anymore or have any kind of uh, relationship that's not a fight. Because not only are you, it's like you're not having to guard yourself because you are protected. There is, like you're standing your ground and so you're never going to let this person in your space again to where there's any confusion anymore. Like whatever this confusion is that somebody was able to create, it's like they are being seen. And so whatever you've been given now has something to do with Some, something that you're being given to be able to protect yourself whenever it comes to um, how you speak or what you say or whenever it comes to someone who's doing something where it's like they're lying to cause pain and fighting. What is that? This could be a, um, there's a masculine energy here. This masculine could be attached to somebody who is um, a queen of swords in reverse. This person could be somebody who lies or somebody who is uh, very hateful with their communication. Or this could also be somebody that is doing something to, to block some kind of action whenever it comes to this pain and this fighting. It's so strange. The way this is coming out is like this person is mostly what I'm getting is it's somebody who either is your counterpart who chose the wrong path or they made some kind of a decision that now there's it's like the smoke is clearing. They feel very confused. They are in a space of 
feeling like they've had to take some extreme loss because of something that they did to you. It's like they broke their own heart. They caused their own pain. They've done something here. And so whatever it is that they've done, you've gotten to a place of saying, okay, well, I'm not going to sit here and fight you on principle because that's silly and this is not a game to me. I'm just going to take the thing that is important to me and I'm just going to leave this entire situation. And for some of you, the thing that's important to you, if you don't have children or this is not something that you're trying to protect, it's like the most important thing to you is you. It's like I'm not going to sit here and whatever this energy is. And so you're bringing an ending to the situation. There's a transformation here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. Show me confusion. Whatever it is that's happening, whenever it comes to finances um, and stability, there is some kind of balance that's coming in. This could be with the justice system or this could have something to do with um, a Libra. This could also have to do with somebody's uh, stability where they are unsure about what they have done. It's like whoever has been out of balance and pretending to do something and being very chaotic and hateful and investing in this energy, if they've been doing something for a very long time and getting away with it, it's like all of a sudden there's something here where there's some kind of divine intervention because this has to do with karma or balance or you know what goes up must come down. And they could want to return to you. This person could want to come towards you and have some kind of uh, reunion. And this is something that they're, it's like they're obsessively realizing passions for you or realizing that they have some kind of attachment to you or realizing that they have made some big misstep. This is somebody from your past or somebody that you've known for a very long time. This could be somebody that you were married to or in some kind of a commitment with. This person could be somebody that is looking through different eyes whenever it comes to you. It's like they're seeing something clear about their lies. There's something here really heavy about lies and confusion. So why is this coming out? Because there's some kind of break whenever it comes to this partnership and there's a wish fulfillment coming in. This could be something that you've been waiting on for a very long time whenever it comes to a lot of work that you've put in around somebody who's maybe tried to trap you or done something where they've this person has purposely caused you lots of missed opportunities or tried to put you in the energy of disappointment. And there could be proof of whatever this, this person's been doing. But it's like, there's proof of this person's betrayal that's coming to light, but you're also getting a brand new beginning. And this beginning might be something that you have never experienced before or something that's going to be very exciting to you. But it's like it's happening in a space where you are feeling very strong or you're you're going to go into this not knowing what to expect, but you need to know that you have the emotional capability to be able to get through whatever this new phase is, even if it feels very strange or it's something that you have not experienced before. But there's some exciting new beginning that's coming here. And that's the message, the Ace of Swords here. So you've got something wrapping up with somebody who's caused so much confusion in your energy that you have not been able to keep 
things that come into your energy or this is like somebody who's purposely trying to cause um, disappointment in your life by whatever it is that they're doing. And not only is this going back on this person and now they're confused, it's like you, you need to know that there's an exciting new beginning that's coming towards you. And you could be receiving some communication about whatever this is very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.